Thank you for joining me today for Midweek Prayer. I'm Andrea, and I'm one of the pastors here, and it is good to be together. It's my hope that this is a place where we can connect with God and with each other as we join our hearts in prayer. During our prayer time, you'll notice that I'll pray specifically for joys or concerns that have been shared with the church over the past week. If you have additional joys or concerns that you would like us to pray specifically for, I invite you to submit those by either replying to this post on Facebook or emailing one of the addresses on your screen or contacting the church office. And then know that we will pray for these requests specifically next Wednesday during midweek prayer. Today, as we begin, I invite you to take a moment of silence to breathe and to center yourself. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in us the fire of thy love. Amen. I now invite you to hear these words from Psalm 107, verses 1 through 9. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, those he redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands from east and from the west and from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to an inhabited town. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. And then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way until they reached an inhabited town. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love for his wonderful works to humankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and the hungry he fills with good things. May God add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of the word. Friends, now it's our privilege to come together and pray. So I invite you to pray with me. Creator God, Your love is amazing, and we are in awe of the beauty of the world around us. The days are getting longer, Lord. The sun's rays are higher in the sky, bringing more light to our world. Warmth begins to flood over the colder portions of our world, and Lord, let the warmth of your mercy and love pour over us. Loving Savior, we echo the prayer by Dr. Betty Hart, saying, Lord, life isn't always easy. Life is sometimes unkind. You know this above all, and it must grieve you to see us working against each other, not loving, not seeing each other as we struggle through life's trials. But Lord, you see us. And you love us, so much so that you gave your only Son that we might live through him. Would we want to be worthy? Help us learn to love as you have loved. Help us to see each other as your children, equally favored in your sight. Help us lovingly serve people of all colors and all races with dignity and compassion for the glorious diversity of your creation. Lord, open our hearts and our minds by the power of your Holy Spirit, that we may be one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world. And may the blood and body of Jesus Christ nourish our lives, so we may be free for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Today, we join in prayer to intercede and pray specifically for all who have COVID and are recovering. For all the families of people who were diagnosed with COVID and did not survive. 
Lord, we pray for Jerry Grog as he continues to recover. Lord, we pray for Nicaragua, especially the people of Nueva Vida. And Lord, we pray for their new pastor. And Lord, we pray for the eyes of all of us who participate in hidden and unconscious racism to be opened and for our hearts and actions to be changed. Speak to us today, O God, and strengthen our faith. We are a people who need you in your fullness, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our lives have complications and pain, and our world has war and despair. But we are made in your image, and your Spirit was breathed into us that we might experience hope in your goodness. Lord, allow your light to shine through us, so that others, too, will experience hope in your goodness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in either in-person or digital worship on Sunday at 930.